Do you know in the UK you can become a BSc nurse from being a diploma nurse within just one year? Do you know that? If you don't know then please watch this video, share it to as many as you want, share it on all your platform and share the news. I'm telling you this works because I'm also doing a top-up course in the UK so I know what I'm talking about. Yes, you can become a BSc nurse or even specialize in other areas of nursing within a year as a diploma nurse. I'm going to divide this video into two. One being if you're going to be outside the country and you want to come to the UK through this route. You want to come to the UK because with this top up, it can also be a route for you to migrate into the UK to come and study, but you have to study full time, which is one year. Or you can be anywhere in the world, even in the UK. I'm in the UK and I'm doing my nursing top up. You can be anywhere in the world and do this nursing top up without having to leave the corner of your house. As long as you have your internet, you have your Wi-Fi, or you have your phone, your laptop, your desktop, any, at least you have the technology. You can become a BSc nurse within one year and I'm going to be telling you how. What is a nursing top up? It is a course that is being taken by registered nurses that has had at least diploma in nursing to become a BSc holder. And you can do it either online or full time in person. It can be a route for you to come to the UK, like I said, or you can do it from anywhere. And once you're qualified, it is recognized you're going to be a BSc nurse. You can even go for your master's and you can do everything a BSc nurse can do with that certificate. You can do it online and it will take you between 12 months to even up to two years. Some people do it within 16 months, some do it within 18 months because the course is very flexible so you can decide how many more do you want to take you can decide how fast you want to go as far as you have the power and the financial capability you're good to go the semester usually start either in january or in september so you can join either the january set or the september set i don't want this video to be too long i'll try to be as fast as i can if you don't understand anything please drop a comment in the comment section or watch this video again permit me to use my phone so i'll be more accurate okay so what are the requirements number one you have to be a registered nurse like i said you need to have your diploma nursing you need to have evidence of your english language either from your school if you're taught in the english speaking environment or your ielts and believe me i used my IE that is already expired because I've used my IELTS, I had my IELTS result over two years ago, but I was still able to use it because I'm already in the UK anyway and English is English no matter what. So you need a proof of English, although it is lower than when you want to come to the UK as a registered nurse, it can vary from even band five, depend on your school requirement. So you need to please make sure you inquire on the particular school you're going, email them, you can phone them, they will respond to you definitely. So find out from the school you've chosen. I'm going to be giving you all the details as we go along. You need a reference from your employer, although or because of course, if you're already a registered nurse, you're expected to be working some where it can be either in the UK or outside the UK, you need a reference from your employer to say, yes, this person is actually a registered nurse working here. So you have the experience, you know, if you, you don't have any experience at all, you're not a nurse, there's no way you can do the top up course. So you need to be a registered nurse and they need the evidence from your reference, which is from your employer that you are a registered nurse somewhere. You need to have your license. If you're in the UK, you need your UK PIN. That was what I gave. And if you're outside the UK, you need your license from your registration body your, either your license or your pain if you're in the uk and you need your school transcript so i use my transcript from way back as 2016 the one i got when i was going to dubai that was the transcript i used and you can also use any transcripts you have from your school where you had your nursing diploma so you can use your transcript and if you're already a bsc nurse you want to just do top up for specialty which is going to come in another video entirely i'm going to tell you about how you can become a specialist via top up you need a transcript as well from your school please check the school you're choosing for scholarship so many schools have scholarship or even the payments you can do instrumentally you can have payment plans so please check out for all this offer and uh, especially scholarship the school fees varies from ten thousand to twelve thousand five hundred depend on where you're choosing what the school is the school fees can vary from 10,000 to up to 12,500 if you're going to come into the country as a student they will also give you letter to be able to apply for your visa but if you're already in the UK and you want to just do the top up 
as you're already in the UK, the school fees is not as high. Depend on the school, you can pay from 4,500 to up to 5,500 for all your modules. I'll be giving you some of the schools that offer nursing top up. The list is not limited to this. Please find out, make more research. But just in summary, the first one I'll have on my list here is Edinburgh Napier University. Of course, I'm with Edinburgh Napier University. So that is the first school that I've listed here. University of Sunderland, Leeds Trinity University, University of Salford, Manchester University, University of Derby, University of Bradford, Conventry University. Just please, the list goes on and on make your research, check the school you want. Personally, like I said, I'm with Edinburgh Napier University. How it works is, is either you come to the UK to work, to study as a full-time student, or you do it online. You have modules that you need to complete and you pay per module. Um, you are assessed via other portfolio, your essay. Usually you don't need to sit in one place and do what is anatomy, what is this? No, they will give you essay for you to solve. It can be like, your actually your summative essay will be like 3,000 words that you need to, implement you need to put everything you've been taught over the period of that your semester you need to put it into that essay and no plagiarism you may think it's easy but if you're really interested it is nothing too difficult that is how you are assessed that is one of the advantage you don't need to sit for one exam and stress yourself you do it over time as convenient as it is for you what you need to know is your attendance is actually monitored you can think you can just get online and then register to be a bsc nurse and you don't attend any of the classes and you think you're going to get a certificate you're not going to get a certificate even if you cannot attend the live classes you need to make sure you are you rewatch it because they can monitor you and you need to read all the, the the library material they've given you all the textbooks they've asked you to read because they can monitor it it's online there's a way they track all these things if you don't meet up to what you're supposed to do you're not going to pass i know someone that was warned because they were not attending any of the classes and the activity online was the activity was seen that they've not been participating they were warned that they were going to be withdrawn so you have to attend it is either you attend the live classes or you have to go back to watch the recorded classes, which is, which makes it very flexible. If I'm working and there's a class, it's fine. I don't need to worry. As long as I watch the video later and I do the assignment, I research, I read everything I'm supposed to do, you're going to be fine. And you can email your lecturers. You can talk to them. You can arrange a one-to-one -one class. There are online libraries where you can get your study material, your everything that you need to study. And you can also go to physical libraries like you have your ID card. This is my own ID card. I'm just going to do it like this, you see. I don't know if it's focused enough. For more inquiry, go to the school you want to choose based on the location, what you want. Go to the school, email them, ask them your personal questions and ask them the requirement. You'll sit on the website and if you meet up, if you don't meet up, they will tell you, they'll keep asking you, bring this or me this or me that and they'll keep in touch with you. In fact, at some point when they were actually running after my document, I'm like, wait, are you people that are more interested in the school or is me? <laughs> because they were always asking this. Mail them, they will respond to. They have student representative everywhere that will communicate with you and you think you know them already. So please do not be discouraged. You can achieve it. Growth is one thing that should not even be a problem to you. Growing should be your intention. Like you want to aspire in life and if it gives you joy, go for it. Why not? You get your ID card that enables you. You're, you're just like a student that is already in the school and you can access any library you want anywhere in the UK. You can get textbooks. You can get discount like a student will have. Everything that a student is entitled to, you're entitled to with this card. You get your ID card and you graduate. So what are the advantages of having your nursing top up? Number one, your career advancement it gives you the feeling of you have your BSc and if there's any position that you need your BSc for you can be able to apply or even if it's for your specialty it helps you to achieve your specialty if you want a video on doing top up as a specialty instead of just nothing please drop a comment in the comment section down below another advantage is you can do it at your own pace nobody's going to rush you you can decide to take two modules this semester and take one module next semester you can do it within a year you can do it within a year and six months a year and five months you can do it within two years depend on how fast you are nobody's going to force you nobody's going to run after you you can decide to withdraw where you want to withdraw there's no school strike there's nothing like i'm in school for five 
five years and my school is on strike within a year and a half or a year and some month you can finish and become a bsc holder imagine at the comfort of your home in just my small office here i do my studies i see my lecturers i save time on transportation i don't need to run to school being late and all those stress i just sit here my lecturer talks to me it's just very convenient. Well, if you're walking, you know, imagine me going back to school and telling you I'm carrying my bag, I'm carrying, I'm going back to the hostel and I'm going to start living hostel life when I have three children <laughs> to feed. It's not going to work. It ain't going to happen. It is accredited as a bachelor's. I would say it's not as expensive. I would say it's not as expensive, especially if you're going to do it online. Personally, I'm supposed to do six model. So each of the model has like 20 units. Each unit is about £820. If you're working already, it's not going to be a problem. But if you're not working, I know it can be expensive. So each of these models you buy and then you do them. I can do two models, one model as fast as I want to. This is basically what I spend my money on. Just buying those models like, that's arranged by those lecturers and going online, speaking with my lecturers, seeing the assignment, completing the assignment. And you're still getting what somebody who is in school is going to get. So it is very comfortable. Sometimes I'm up in the middle of the night studying, catching up with my lectures. It is just as convenient as it is. Although you, like for my own school, you're not allowed to exceed about 40 modules in one semester because they think it's too much. You will not be, uh, your output may not be as efficient. So I cannot do more than 40 modules in one semester. Okay. What are the disadvantages? Of course, everything that has an advantage also have a disadvantage. What are the disadvantages of doing nothing top up, especially if you're going to be doing it online? Number one is, like I said, it may be expensive. You don't have anyone to motivate you. If you decide not to go and study for one year, nobody's going to make call you say, hello, Gloria, why haven't you done your study? You're going to be withdrawn or they will just, you know, you're going to be at your own loss. Nobody's going to motivate motivates you nobody's going to look for you to come to lecture so it is just you need a lot of motivation a lot of determination and you have to be intentional about starting this course before you actually start uh, so nobody's going to motivate you you can't see your friend going to school and say let me carry my bag as well because it is just you and you and your studies so you may not have a lot of motivation you will miss mixing up with people if you're the type of like to socialize you want to make friends you want to catch fun that is not going to happen then we have uh, a lot of groups where maybe our other class students where you can meet up with your classmates if they are in the country that you are and then you can hang out there are so many activities that are actually posted in my because we have like an app school app where so many things are there the study the timetable the calendar emails school gathering even student union everything you can even go to the school but you don't have time for that so you're going to miss up on socializing with your students if you're doing online course especially but if you're coming to the country it's good I've already said you can get a visa by coming to do your top up and once you finish your top up you do your OSCE of course do your registration and then you can become a registered nurse and stay in the country if you're coming to the country to study nursing top up you're also going to have a tier 4 student visa which can also help you to bring your family in in case you've been trying out yet and you couldn't meet the 7 band that is required nursing top up can also be an option for you and like I said it's not everybody that is doing a nursing top up that is doing nursing it can be nursing top up for other specialties, it can be top up for uh, dialysis, top up for peri-up, top up for anything. So top up is top up specialty and nothing top up is also different. So depend on which, which one you want to do. Please drop a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you want me to record for you next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Until then, stay safe, take care of yourself. Bye.